cooking. And what a great place to have a cooker. You know, the thing about getting out in the bush and, and going on those adventures and catching fish and all that sort of stuff, it's all about the cooking of it as well. Now, I've got a big fat bag of barramundi here, so I'm going to show you a clever way to, um, to, I suppose, fry up some barramundi and give a little bit of taste. And I'm just going to cut him up to a little cube, so something like that. And then I'm going to make up a little dipping sauce. So first of all, we're going to fry it up. Now, it's a clever little way of doing it. I'm going to do it in cornflake crumbs. So I've got a, a packet of cornflakes here, and I'm going, to, I'm going to crush them up. Make sure you don't bust the bag. And this is going to be the crumbs that go on the, on the actual fish that we're going to deep fry in the pan. There we go. So let's go with a few eggs. Four eggs. OK. A little bit of milk. So mix that up. Salt and pepper. All right, so now we need some fish. The beauty of barramundi is um, even the big ones taste good. So into our milk and egg mixture, whack that in there. She's going to go in there and into the frying pan. So whack them in there, and here we go, into the pan into the hot oil. While well, that little bit's cooking, I'm going to make up a little dipping sauce. So we're going to finely chop an onion, whack that in a bowl. We need some tomatoes. Again, we're going to finely chop it, whack that in there. A little bit of hosin sauce, about that much. A bit of sweet soy. Now we'll mix this up. This is our little dipping sauce or sort of pour over sauce, if you could call it. All right, we're going to chuck lime in there. I think our fish might be nearly ready too. Just check with your knife if it falls in. She's cooked. That's cooked. And you look at those little suckers there. They're just golden brown. I'm going to get a bit of this sauce on the top. A bit more of that juice. But that there is a sweet little recipe. It'll have a really tangy flavour to it. The only way to check to see how good it is, we're going to have to get Simon in. Simon, you there, mate? Grubs up, mate. That looks very fancy. All right, I won't tell you what's in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you have a chew of it, OK? All right, we'll get your chopsticks, grab your piece of fish, and Jeez, tell me what you think. It looks all right. Didn't even take a breath. Did you see that? <laughs> Just woofed it straight down. Not even a nibble. It's like, woof. Did you even taste mm. that? Mate, that's restaurant quality. What? I don't want to build you up or anything, but that's really good. That's, that's all time. There you go. <laughs> From the fish master himself. You want to cook the rest? All right. You're a bit peckish over here. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Something quick, something simple. You saw how quickly that got together. And, mate, did you know what I was using? No, what? Cornflakes. For head income. Yeah. Oh, you'd never tell. That's good. <laughs> there you go.